All right, kids, in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to solve a system of equations. Uh, we're going to do it today by graphing. In other words, we're going to look for the ordered pairs that we could put into both of these functions, and they're going to make each of them true. In other words, the points of intersection. So let's see if we could do it. Let's graph. See here, this is a parabola right there, by the way, and this is a line, obviously. Let's graph the line since that's easy. Okay, my y-intercept is negative 3, so I come down 1, 2, put a point. And then here's my slope, down two and a half. Isn't that another word, another way to say negative five over two? So if I go down five over two and put a point, we're good to go. But what if you did want to go down two and a half? Then you got to go over one. So you could do down one, two and a half over one. You could do it that way and then get a straight edge and play connect the dots. Okay, let's graph the parabola. Remember, to find the x-intercepts, you got to go ahead and set the function equal to 0. By the way, right down here, stick around after this video. I'm going to attach how to do this next one using Desmos on the computer. Anyhow, let's factor, and let's pray that it factors. x, x, I know what times what's a minus. I know it's plus minus. Factors of 8 going to get me to negative 2. I can see it a mile away, 2 and 4. Let's double check. 2x minus 4x is negative 2x. We hit the home run. So x plus 2 equals 0. And x minus 4 equals 0. So x is negative 2. x equals 4. So let's plot those. Right there and right there. You get the idea. So let's go for the vertex. Well, I need a little space, so let me erase. Now we get this thing, so let's erase. Okay. Um, remember the to find the vertex, x equals negative b over 2a. x equals negative, my b value is negative 2 over 2a, my a value is 1. So that's 2 over 2, which is 1. Well, how do you find the y value of the vertex? Well, you pop it back into this original. So 1 squared minus 2 times 1 minus 8. You can use a calculator, but that's 1 minus 2 minus 8. That's negative 9. So 1 negative 9 is my vertex. We could probably sketch it out, but let's find the, the uh, y-intercept since that's easy. Remember, when you put 0 in here, and here it all disappears, so 0, negative 8 is my y-intercept. And since that's one away from the axis of symmetry, then the other one is right The Oh, I think that might be a point of intersection. So let's graph the parabola. It's just a rough sketch. That's not the greatest, but uh, you get the idea. So question B says, how many points of intersection are there? Well, it hits here and here so there are two now it wants you to take a guess what they are well this one right here looks pretty darn good i don't know what do you think negative two negative eight negative two negative eight and then the other one is here so i'm guessing maybe negative two and a half three i don't know negative two and a half three and then you'll see uh down the road that you can verify that answer. But stick around for 63 using Desmos. The answer to 62, we just did it. Um, but the cool thing about Desmos is when you set these two, if you used algebra to set these two equal to each other and solved it, where they intersect, those are the ordered pairs that will make both of these true. Okay, so let's see where they intersect. You can click on it and sure enough, two negative eight was one of our answers. And then the other one, we guess close to that, but nonetheless, those are the two answers, okay? So let's do the next question to see the points of intersection on this. So let's get rid of that and that, um, and let's put in y equals x squared, and then we'll put in y equals 2x, and we'll see where these bad boys intersect. Ooh, they don't. So that tells us there is no solution. 
at least no real solution because if you took x squared and set it equal to 2x minus 5, you're going to get what kind of numbers? You guessed it, imaginary numbers. But Desmos makes this real easy for you. What you should do is go back and use the algebra to see if you can get the same answers for 62 uh, that you got on the video and for this one here. And again, you're going to have an imaginary number. Now take a break.